Just another update on the tides coming up as we go into the next few high tide cycles. They should be at minor tidal flooding levels, meaning that will be at 4.9 or 4.8 feet. The one that we just had was at 5.2 feet. 4 a.m. is the next one. 5 p.m. will be the one tomorrow afternoon. So what happened? Well, let's look at the comparisons. The original forecast last night was for the one that we had today at 5.2 to be almost two feet higher at 7.1 feet. Where does that kind of compare on the recent stack? Well, Isabel in 2003 at 7.9, the nor'easter of 2009, which was remnants of Hurricane Ida that went through the Gulf of Mexico, was at 7.74. And then Sandy 10 years ago was at 6.81. Well, what happened? It's all about the wind direction. Today, the wind direction was out of the north to northwest. Just enough more westerly, that component helped to drain the water out of the bay. If there was more of a northeasterly push, it would have kept that water trapped in the bay. It would have came up the James River, would have went down the Elizabeth River, affecting areas across the peninsula, south side, eastern shore, middle peninsula. We've all would have had those higher than normal tides. And all of that happened was because of the low position, that area of low uh, pressure out off to our east. It was a little bit more northeast than predicted. It was, should have been a little bit farther to the south. Because of that, that wind direction was completely changed just by a few degrees if we were to look at a compass. Now let's compare this to Hurricane Sandy about 10 years ago. Here's the weather map from then. There's Sandy right there. Let's zoom that in. So Sandy, obviously a hurricane, a much stronger storm system. The central pressure was at 956 millibars. That's how we measure how strong an area of low pressure is. Today was at 1,008. So a big difference in the strength of the storm system. Stronger winds around Sandy. We didn't have any major impacts in our area, but the tidal flooding was. Again, that was at 6.81. The prediction we had last night was at 7.1, actual at 5.2. Thankfully, the wind direction was a little off, and that's what helped us out with those high tides for today.